Welcome to another Sunday School Short. Today we're in Ezekiel 40 through 42. We both need help here. So go on to YouTube and I want you to search Ezekiel Temple Vision Chapter 40 3D Animation. I'm going to put the link below so that you'll have that. And I'll put it either on the screen or in the comments. But uh, I'm going to post a Google image here for most of the time I'm talking uh, today because uh, it's thick. It's a lot of stuff. But the Millennial Temple, Ezekiel's vision for the temple to be built. This is highly detailed. So I believe that it's not symbolic. I believe it's the coming when Christ rules and reigns. That's when that temple will be built. Matter of fact, a lot of the our Jewish friends already have all the stuff to go inside the temple. It's just waiting to be built. All right. The new temple area, it talks about, again, a cubit here. If it says cubit in your Bible, it is 18 inches. So just one and a half feet times however many cubits. So two cubits is three feet, such as that. All right, so 14 years after the fall of Jerusalem, Ezekiel got this vision. The Lord took Jerusalem to the land of Israel on a high mountain. I saw a man whose face was like bronze standing beside a gateway entrance holding a linen rod, a, excuse me, a linen measuring cord and a measuring rod. The man said, watch and listen, pay attention to what I show you, and you will return to the people of Israel and tell them what you've seen. Uh, Ezekiel saw the, the temple area, which I'm showing now. Uh, it had a wall five, no, ten and a half feet thick and ten and a half feet high. He took me to the eastern gateway, which you can see there, and its measurements were um, the gateway itself. That's the building. I'm going to call that the entry housing there. It was uh, 87 feet long, 43 feet wide, and 100 feet high. And that was all of them. So you'll see the east, north, and the, the temple's facing the east entrance, as you can see there. So north would be on the top of the screen there. South would be towards the... Uh, bottom and then the west will be on the back side uh, all these are just descriptions and the accoutrements that go inside here that goes what it's talking about in 40 the east gate again faced the temple entrance the man brought me through the gateway into the outer courtyard which you can see there of the temple there were stone pavers there you see those and 30 rooms along the wall the outer wall there uh there was 175 feet from the outer i'm going to call that the outer entry house to the inner entry house or inner entry gateway okay so there the, at the northern gateway all the measurements match that of the east gateway there were three guard alcoves and, and it mentions that they're they're the same in in all of these um there were three guard alcoves on each side and again you can see this more in detail on that uh youtube that I'm showing if you'll YouTube um, Ezekiel Temple Visions uh, 3D animation chapter 40 and the um, those passage houses again were 100 feet high palm trees decorated on the side identical to the east gate seven steps led up to that entryway into that passage house I'm calling it or the gateway house whatever um, like the east gate another a gateway entry this this northern house was 100 feet by 43 feet wide um, that one went into the inner temple so you see the inner excuse me the inner courtyard the only difference is the inner courtyard entry passage house that that I'm calling it has seven steps versus the outer entry passage house or the outer gateway there those have seven steps leading up to them and again 175 feet from the entry to from the outer house to the inner house um, when Jesus is throwing out the money changers thing here when it talks about that in the Bible it's um, he's talking about that whole temple complex area everything inside that outer wall is holy and everything outside of that is not is common so when he's throwing them out, he's not throwing them out of the building that I have circled that says temple. He's throwing them out of that, you know, courtyard area. All right, the south gate is exact as the north and the east. Uh, it has eight tables around it with hewn stone. 
essentially, which were like butcher's blocks. They sacrificed meat there. It goes on to talk about the rooms of the priests and preparing uh, like a pastor study, essentially, and a, a pastor of administration office, I'm calling it, um, were the rooms there. The inner courtyard was seven, 175 feet by 175 feet. Yours may say it in cubits. Oh, altar was out in front, that you can see there. And uh, just the entry room into the temple. This is where we close in chapter 40. Just the entry room into the temple had a wall that was eight and three quarters foot thick. It, uh, the, that entry room was 35 foot wide and 21 feet deep. It had 10 steps going up to that and a column. Ezekiel on these. 41, again, you're going to YouTube visions of the temple ezekiel's visions of the temple 3d animation it's three minutes and 11 seconds long but it's very good again a cubit is a foot and a half so two cubits is three feet um as you're reading through stop and start this video stop not this video but the youtube video on the description as you're reading don't neglect the reading 41 describes the temple building itself what we think of when it says temple in the bible although sometimes that means again the entire the entire temple mount everything inside the walls of the outer wall okay the sanctuary itself the building there where it says temple circled there 70 feet long 35 feet wide the inner room uh the most holy place was 35 feet by 35 feet uh, it has 30 rooms uh seven foot wide rooms on the outside walls of this and there's three different levels of that uh, again you you need the visualization here uh, the large building on the west facing the temple courtyard was 122 feet by 157 feet. On um, the sanctuary, the inner room, the entry room, all was paneled with wood and had coverings or carvings of cherubim with two faces, one with a man and facing one way and one with a lion facing the other way, and uh, consecutively with palm tree. So it would be palm tree, cherubim, palm tree. Um, the Lord's table of presence was there. It's four and a quarter foot high and three and a half foot wide. The sanctuary and the most holy place had double doors, both carved with palm trees and cherubim. And in chapter 42, again, uh, YouTube Ezekiel Temple Vision, chapter 42 and 43, uh, 3D animation. It's uh, Italio fan and it's three minutes and 28 seconds. Gives you a great, I'll give the link below. Uh, then a man led me out of the temple courtyard by the way of the holy, uh, excuse me, by the way of the north gateway. We entered the outer courtyard and came to a group of rooms against the wall, uh, inner dining courtyard, or inner courtyard. This was the dining room block. Um, and it talks about walkways and rooms narrowing. Uh, on each level to provide for a walkway around about verse 10 it says the south side had similar dining rooms so again just like the outer and inner gateways were very similar and north south east west were very similar same same way with these dining rooms there was one on the north and one on the south essentially the same they were on the inner courtyard wall so follow me there all right then verse 13, then the man told me, these rooms that overlook the temple from the north and south are holy. Here the priest who offers sacrifices to the Lord will eat the most holy uh, offerings. When the priests leave the sanctuary, they must change their clothes that they were ministering in because their clothes became holy. And in verse 15, then the man, when he had finished measuring the inside of the temple, he led me outside through the eastern gate and measured the entire perimeter. And it was 875 feet by 875 by 875 by 875, separating what was holy from what was common. And uh, you and I get Jesus into your life and your heart, and you become holy. The Holy Spirit dwells inside of you. Admit that you're a sinner. Um, reject those things. Turn to God for forgiveness. Like, subscribe, and share. May God bless you.